Hey, what's up, guys? How are you guys doing? Robbie Fossil's back. Good to see you guys. Hope you guys are having a good day. I see you guys. Hope you guys hope you guys are doing well. And uh, this is just a quick review of a not so important game on the Xbox 360 roster. Uh, Battlefield Hardline. I got this game for like very cheap, for like five dollars at five below. I mean, this money well spent. I mean, this game is not worth sixty-five dollars on. I mean, on. Xbox 360 for for a reason. Let me tell you why. Because it's not that good. The cringe animations for the rest, the campaign, the multiplayer, everything sucks in this game. It's just average. And average is no good, right? We want spectacular. We want amazing. But this is no good. But anyway, it's still a decently well-crafted game, though. But the campaign is just good, but not average good. But it is not great. Like a standard game like Battlefield 1 or Battlefield 2. But it's still, it's okay though. It's okay. It's passable. The graphics, I give a 7. It's passable on the 360 or a 6 sometimes. It has its moments. It looks a little hazy. I played this game on the PS4. I bought that for $65 in 2015 when it came out. I enjoyed it more on the PS4, but that's a different console. You can't compare the 360 to the PS4, even though a 360 is a better console than the PS4. Even though it is. It, trust me, it is. I, I played a lot of games on the 360. That's a lot better on the 360 than the PS4. But anyway, um, the graphics are 6, the multiplayer is 6. Graphics are 7, the multiplayer is 6, and the campaign is 6. Uh, this game is decently average good, but it could be better. But it's okay though. The 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 set pieces in this game are just outrageously blow. Kind of amazing though. Yeah, I don't quite remember this game. I'm playing it again, so um yeah, just have to bear with me. So this is like a mini review. The overall package I gave a 7.1 out of 10 for the 360, and the PS4 version a 7.5. This is a passable game, but I wouldn't recommend it. If I were you, get with Battlefield 1 on the Xbox One, or the Xbox Series X, or PlayStation 5. Don't get this game. It's just a waste. They try to go for a new idea, and they failed miserably. But anyway, Robbie Fazo signing out. Love you guys. Bye.